We're with Denver men's soccer coach Bobby Muse as his team gets set to take on UIC, the Flames from Chicago. And coach, a tough weekend. You had a, a tie and a loss. How do you think your team will bounce back tomorrow night? Oh, I think we'll be fine. Um, just a just a weird weekend, I guess you would say. Uh, difficult. Um, team was faced with a lot of adversity. You know, I think as we said at the beginning of the year, we we have a challenging schedule for a reason. Um, to go from a conference game to a to a, a tough Bradley opponent. Um, you know, we just get to see different things as the year goes on. I mean, I think after this last weekend, I think we've seen it all, uh, to be fair, from field, weather, um, you know, uh, just ups and downs in our play to different personnel changes to the travel, uh, to the fatigue. Um, but I know when we left Bradley is, you know, we left there where their heads held high. I think um, w we talked about it at the beginning of the year. We don't. We do focus on results. Obviously, we want to win as many games as we possibly can. But ultimately, we want to continue to get better. I know it's hard, you know, from a from an outside person's perspective, that someone's not in the locker room every day or at every practice or every game to say, well, how can you say you get better and you're not, you know, you didn't get the results. But I do think that we we got better on a couple of things. You throw out the Eastern game. Um, I'm really talking about the Bradley game. Eastern game wasn't really a soccer game. So I think it's one of those is from Bradley, we the things that we implemented the week before, we actually executed well. Um, Bradley just imposed their game on us, you know, more than we were able to impose ours. Against Eastern Illinois, you mentioned there were 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. You had to play on the practice field because their regular field was, was wet and couldn't, unplayable. Have you ever played in conditions like that at Eastern Illinois before? Well, we've never been to Eastern Illinois, so that was our, um, you know, that that that's, you know, that, that's the tough part. So we'd never been, didn't know really what to expect. Um, but never mind Eastern Illinois. I've never played in a college soccer, you know, uh, it, well, I've never played in that type of college soccer environment. So, um, you know, the game is done now. Disappointed. Uh, no matter what conditions, adversity, whatever it may be. You know, we, we, we found 18 chances to win the game, and we didn't. So, you know, like I told the guys, I was actually proud with the way they dealt with the adversity. We didn't complain. Um, we just got on with it. Uh, and, and I think I give those guys a lot of credit. We had to play very different than, than normal because you couldn't play. Um, you know, you couldn't build, and you couldn't really play through the midfield. So we played much more direct. But with that being said is we had plenty of chances to win the game. You outshoot a team 18-4 to four, no matter what your surroundings is and what type of atmosphere you're in, you know, you're expecting to win. And, and like any game, we were, ex you know, we expect to win. So um, the bottom line is we didn't keep the ball out of the back of the net in crucial times when we needed to, uh, and we didn't finish the chances that we need. But, uh, you know, I, I do. I'm, I'm, it's in the past now. Um, you know, if uh, we're fortunate the next time that we, if, we, if we're fortunate to play Eastern Illinois again, it would be in the conference tournament at, you know, at the University of Denver. One of the things you'll need to do going forward is protect leads better. You've been getting leads, but then giving them up. How do you fix that? Well, it, this is the first game, actually, where we've given up a lead and actually lost on, on Monday. Um, my days are a little confused with the travel. But, you know, I think we just got to continue to play our game. I told you after the Oral Roberts game was that was a complete performance where we came out at halftime, we were up 1-0, and we found ways early in the second half to, to get the second goal. And we just kept going after that instead of being complacent and, and sitting in a little bit and really um, playing not to get scored on instead of going out and, and, and putting in almost an end to the game in some ways. And there's a lot of teams that go out there in the country, you got great respect for them. They try to win the game in the first 15 minutes of each half. Um, we need to have a little bit more of, of that, um, you know, that – that attitude, you know, um, and uh, that that's a, that's a point of focus right now. I mean, I think we, you know, if you look at our stats, we've been better in the first half than in the second half, um, but not this weekend, you know. And although the results didn't go, not the Oral Roberts game, so I knew I know it is a point of interest or a point of focus for us. And the guys have done it. I mean, we've outshot all of our opponents in the second half over the last couple of games, and uh, we just didn't really continue to play our game against Bradley in the second half for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, Bradley just were better at what they did. So I think it's it's definitely a point of focus, but uh, not really letting up the goals. I think the bottom line for us is giving up leads no matter what. We just have to let up, you know, less goals, period. You know what I mean? It's been our MO, you know, my MO as a coach and the staff since we've got here. Uh, and, and I think it's the guys, you know, man, we win 3-1. Guys are upset that we let up a goal. Never mind you lose 2-1. It's gut-wrenching. 
Friday night, 7 o'clock at Cyber Field, UIC is here. What do you know about the Flames and what kind of game do you anticipate? I think it's going to be a very good soccer team. You know, um, UIC is a traditional um, soccer power on the national level, you know, consistently in the NCAA tournament. Um, they play the game and, uh, you know, it should be, a, you know, a fun, entertaining, attacking style game. Um, their front four, front five are as good as anybody around. And, you know, I feel the same way about our front four and five as well. We're scoring goals. They score goals. Um, and, and I think it's, it's two pretty good soccer teams going after it and uh, it should be a, a fun game to watch. And lastly, Eric Cronenberg was named the Summit League Athlete of the Month. That has to be a, a nice feather in the cap for the program. No, it's nice. I, I do, you know, you think about as we've only played two Summit games and, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of Summit League players of the week. And I, I think the first week we were fortunate. I think Eric won it a while back. Um, but uh, the body of Eric's work over the last month, it's nice that he's been rewarded. I know Eric and the team, you know, that we have one goal in mind and that's to win. And, you know, and we've always talked about it is proud for Eric and happy for him, congratulating him yesterday. Um, but the bottom line is we'll know we'll get a lot more accolades if we win more games. And, and that's the goal right now. Coach, good luck tomorrow night against the Flames. Thanks so much.